What's up everybody? I'm Michael Christ, three years running top seller at ShineOn, now head of marketing at ShineOn. And before we get started in today's video, I just wanted to thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. If you like this kind of content, I want you to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, let's talk about retargeting here. So for retargeting, I use Dirt Simple retargeting. Now again, you can get super complex with your retargeting, guys. This isn't the only way to do it by any means. I use Dirt Simple retargeting. So one thing to um, think about here is like when it comes, look, I've done agency stuff before from a digital marketing perspective. And I will tell you with agency stuff, you get way more complicated than this because you're building avatars and profiles and you're coming up with different angles and you have new creatives that you're testing all the time and different interests and you're doing day parting and you're parting by age and divide. Like it's just, you're doing all this stuff. It's super complicated. This is like if a caveman were a digital marketer, this is the stuff that works with print on demand. Keeping it simple is like a law in print on demand. Okay. And it, it also keeps that barrier to entry really low for new people. So all this stuff I'm showing you, you can make it as complicated as you want it to be, okay? I just like to keep things simple. Like I said, it's like caveman marketing is kind of how I think about it. So when it comes to retargeting, this is this is usually what I like to do. I like to make two audiences. So inside of Facebook, you can go to audiences, you can go to create custom audience. And I make, I make uh, an audience that's anybody that's viewed content in less than seven days. And then I make another audience that's anybody that's purchased in less than, usually I do like 30 days on this one. And then for my retargeting, I literally throw both of these into a uh, ad set. So I basically say if they view content in less than seven days, but they did, but they, uh, so what I do is I, sorry guys, in ad, in the ad set, when you're doing the targeting up at the very top, there's like a custom Custom targeting, I think, is the name of the, the field. And so I will include this audience here. So I include this. And then I exclude this, right? So what I'm doing is I'm targeting anybody that's viewed content but didn't purchase. Literally, that's what I do. I mean, it's it's that simple, guys. And uh, this is usually will do very well from a retargeting perspective. Now, you can do all kinds of stuff. Like I say, you can make this super complicated where you're like, Targeting people in less than 24 hours, between two to five days, between six and 10 days, between 11 and 15. I mean, like, and you can take people through an entire journey where they're seeing different ads and different creatives and you're answering objectives and trying to pull them in. I don't do that for this stuff. I literally keep it dirt simple. Again, it's it's caveman retargeting. That's what I like to do here. So I've talked about how to get started. I've talked about ramping up and now you've got my dirt simple retargeting process here. Let's do some Q and A. Why limit view content to only seven days? Isn't it worth it to go further back than that for your retargeting? Yeah, I just find that the people that view content in the last seven days are the hottest kind of audience, and I get my retargeting sales for really cheap. You can certainly expand that, but your cost per purchase may go up. My recommendation would be, if you're gonna do that, have one audience and one campaign for view content less than seven days, have a completely different one for view content between seven and 14 days. That way you can kind of keep track of your cost per purchase in each and kill one if it's not profitable. Richard, on the retargeting, do you go back with a, hey, you forgot X or, hey, you can get the X product at $20 discount? That's a great question. Um, I do. I uh, Here's what I'll typically do with my retargeting is I'll actually put two or three ads in the ad set. So I'll do one where it's like, psst, Hey, you were checking out this product. You know, do you want to get it? Grab it today, save 20 bucks or something like that. Um, sometimes I'll add another discount code. Sometimes I just run the, the first ad that they saw originally, but I'll put all those ads into one ad set and then I'll let Facebook optimize on whichever one's working the best. Again, caveman marketing for this stuff. Caveman marketing. You can get super advanced after you get a bunch of sales, right? In the beginning, be a caveman when it comes to this. 
What's up everybody? Michael Christ here. I want to thank you so much for checking out today's video. Before you leave, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Check out all the links in the description below, particularly the link to register on shineon.com and also the link to our Facebook group where we are constantly sharing marketing tips and tricks to help you take your e-commerce game to the next level. So once again, I hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll see you in the next one.